That's it, Jack Cross, come on. That's it, hands up, mate. Yeah, that's it, Jack Cross, come on. That's it, keep going, come on. Throw me the hook, come on. And come back, that's it, come back, come on. Move back, that's it, Jack, come on. Okay, here we are. So, Ryan has lovely gloves, has a gum seal, and when we do a sparring, we have headguards and even bigger gloves. We can still hurt each other a lot, yes. But it's a control environment between training partners in a gym, okay? We are with coaches, with people that take care of us, okay? When we are in the street, we have nothing of the sort. No gloves, no gum seal, no helpers, not a friendly training partner, okay? Definitely not the same weight, not equal conditions. Therefore, we are gonna see what to do in the street with some competitive boxing. Well, guys, that's me doing my job. I'm a professional boxing coach, a qualified trainer second. That's my job. I've been paid for it. I love boxing. I've been loving boxing forever, all my life, since I'm three years of age. But there is one thing that I love even more, which is self-defense. I'm a self-defense instructor as well, because I love to be able to protect myself in the street and even to protect others. So in this channel, what I want to do is to put both things together. I love boxing, I love combat sports, and I love self-defense, and I want to blend them together. So, what is the number one rule in street fighting? That there's no rules, right? So we are gonna use legal blows, okay? I'm gonna use legal blows, but also legal blows. I don't care, there's no rules in there. I'm trying to save my life. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I don't want anyone to hurt me, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Number one, what I would do, so if I fight, if I have this opponent, yeah, that would be a legal, Jab cross, right? But in the street, I'm not gonna throw a legal jab cross. I'm gonna throw an eye jab. My fingers, the fingers of a person are very strong. We are playing with the phone, with the computer, so I'm gonna poke the eye. Look, <laughs> fucking I didn't touch him, man. I poke the eye, and then boom! Then yes, then I'm coming with the real cross, with the real rear hand punch, okay? I legal, boom, legal, okay? That's my first option is like, hey, hey, hey I don't want to fight, but boom! Another option, our elbows, guys our elbows. So, if I'm throwing a hook, I can collapse the elbow, okay? If the guy is coming to me, hey, hey, I don't want to fight, and I, if I punch in here, I can collapse the elbow. I can use the elbow as well, it's pam pam, okay? That's a very important thing. Even some professional boxers, they do it like accidentally. You throw the pam and throw the elbow, sorry ref, okay? Let alone in the street. Or, and maybe I'm gonna fail, maybe he comes to me and he moves the head away, but I can collapse the elbow, okay? Or I can do it on purpose. I can throw, fail on purpose to throw the elbow, okay? He's coming to me, and I feign the hook to boom to collapse the elbow. Legal blow, I legal blow. Another one that I love a lot, hammer, okay? Again, I throw a hook, and I come back with the hammer straight away, okay? So, legal punch, I legal punch, legal punch. I love the hammer for many reasons, because again, a boxer is maybe is gonna be expecting, even if he's with the palm, even if he's the eye, he's expecting something straight, something very standard. But what about this, clack? What about the hammer? What about this? Maybe, maybe he's expecting my upper, that, but this, this is very useful, that hammer, okay? Bam, there, and then I can come with the cross, again. Okay, again, I legal, legal. If I have to go downstairs, if I have to choose, I chose the face, okay? Because in here there's no muscle, the eyes are very weak, the teeth can't get broken, in here there's the equilibrium of the humans, okay? But in here, he could be, he's fucking like he's a strong bastard. You know what I mean? If I punch in here, probably I need a power that I don't have to knock him out, but in here, I don't need to be that powerful, only putting my body weight could be enough to hurt him. So if I go downstairs, I'm not gonna go here, I'm gonna go, you know where, right? Boom! I'm gonna go to the balls. If I throw a cross, I'm not gonna go to the there. I'm gonna go there. Boom! Okay? Again, legal blow, a legal target. The typical drunken, excuse my language, bastard that grapple you. Okay, and then boom! And then pam in the ball. It's great, it's useful. Again, it's a, it's a hook to the body, but going to the knee. It's an upper to the body, but to the balls. Okay? Fuck. My wedding ring is scratching his right ball. Uh, I feel uh, the... Uh, <laughs> another one, especially if I cannot, he has the, heart, the hands up, so I cannot go there, I cannot go there, I cannot go there. 
but I can go there, okay? Again, collapse the elbow, okay? So, collapse the elbow, okay? So, don't only throw the legal uppercut. The boxers, they throw, oh, what a lovely uppercut. No, bam, go, go up. So, bam, go up with it. Boom, go up, go up with it, okay? Or if I fell the upper because he moved back, I collapsed the elbow against the chest. Bam, that's very, very, very painful, okay? So again, I throw the uppercut, he throw a punch, maybe I block, he throw a, the typical haymaker in a bar, bam, he throw the other one, I block, and then I throw my upper, I felt that I collapse in there. And then I throw my hammer, and then I throw my hook, and then I throw my upper again, until bam, until I land a shot that really hurt him, okay? Again, I'm combining legal, illegal, legal, illegal. I'm combining legal blows with illegal blows, sport-wise, legal targets, illegal targets, okay? I'm blending everything up to win the fight. So when I was learning English years ago, they told me you need to learn the rules of English language and then you will be able to break them, which is what the Anglo-Saxons do. We do the same in Spanish. We don't follow the grammatical rules very well, but we understand each other, right? With boxing, it's the same, guys. Obviously, the more you train, the more you learn proper competitive boxing, the better, because then in the street you can break those rules and adapt boxing to the street. So Raul never took off his self-defense rings for that whole video and completely destroyed my chin, groin and knees. So if you feel sorry for me at all, maybe leave us a like and it might cheer me up a little bit. So in this video, we've spoken about using boxing for dirty street striking, but we've actually done videos about how to avoid the fight altogether. We've done a video about what to do in a confrontation in order to gain the upper hand before a fight even starts. And we also looked at preemptive striking and some of the best things you can do to preemptively strike and end the fight before it goes anywhere. So make sure you check out those videos, guys.